sunlight away from the Earth's atmosphere. The danger is if anything should happen to any system which draws heat away from the Earth would probably burn to death when it failed. Not immediately, but over time. Essentially, it's a band-aid on a festering wound. When I was a little girl, I remember how life was carefree and innocent. Everything was going to last forever. My family, my home, the sky, God. Children have a faith that defies reality. They can leap from roof to roof, fearless as if there were no ground beneath them, or run forever on ambition and restlessness. There are only so many leaps you can take before you break something. So many miles you can run before you're out of breath. In that, you realize the finite nature of things. World after world of all humanity, trying to get it right over and over again. And what if we never got it right? What if we disappointed God over and over again? And what if God? I remember the sunset on that day. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. There was no warning, no sirens, no broadcasts, no emergency evacuation, no time to act.
Little West, about 29 miles north of you. If I had to guess, I'd say we're probably headed towards the northwest coast. I miss the rain, man. I don't miss the rain, not even a little. Rain can be a hindrance when you really need it not to be. Like this time when we were in L.A. on patrol, it was raining like hell, cats and dogs. We had to flush some guys from a hole after they looted some military hardware. We were trainees at best, okay? We were wet behind the ears right out of boot camp. So you're doing everything by the book then, huh? Yeah, by the book, like a bunch of knuckleheads. We didn't know our asses from our shoes. So what do we do? We rush in like a bunch of rambos. Knock down the door without announcing ourselves and scared the crap out of him. One of them shot the other. We put him down because he was spraying everywhere. I mean, what a mess. So what do we do? We raid the fridge. And what do we find there? I mean, we're in an abortion clinic and here we find some rum. So we sit down, we drink some rum right where we just shot the bodies. They're just lying there. And uh, first time I ever had Dead Man's Rum. It's good stuff. Well, you run up on me then. Freedom is one of life's greatest gifts. The freedom to speak your mind. The freedom to go where you want. And more importantly, the freedom to choose. A pregnancy can sometimes come at the wrong time in your life. If you're pregnant, young or old, and the burden of this responsibility isn't what you planned, then the Pandora pill just might be for you. It helped me in my time of need. Pandora. The discreet pregnancy termination method. It's your choice. Brought to you by the Omnitech Corporation. OTN, the Omnitech Network, making the world a better place. Welcome to the Citizen Prime Hour with special guest Vincent Velo, CEO of the Omnitech Corporation. And now your host, Simon Prime. It has been nearly 20 years since Omnitech Corporation's Solar Shield was put into place. Now, some $450 trillion later, the project has suffered a major setback. Here today to help us understand the crisis in more detail is 20-year representative and CEO of Omnitech Corporation, Mr. Vincent Velo. How are you today, Mr. Velo? Very good, thank you. Good to be here. And now we return to Gabrielle Anderson's Get Real. I'm here with the Nobel winning author of 12 Steps to Global Recovery, a book that covers the global meltdown and its cures, Sarah Hartley. Thanks for having me. Okay, let's get down to business. So what's all the noise about? I think since the crisis was tied to the technology that was implemented by Omnitech without allowing the people, the government, nor the international community to regulate the plan, that it's obvious who's at fault here. You're getting way ahead of me here, Sarah. I see we're going to skip the small talk. So we can safely say that you and your company are on top of the problem, but just how concerned should we all be? I don't think people realize just how serious this is. A solution is in development and has been ever since we realized the technological hangups that had occurred. Look, we're not blind to the people's needs. They were given the responsibility for the deployment of an operation that was supposed to counteract the effects of our atmosphere's exceedingly rising temperatures. And when it was put into place, this sun-bouncing technology, everyone thought that they were going to be our saviors. And we are certainly not the monsters that we are accused of being. Now it turns out they seem quite the opposite. The solution spoke for itself. And it was under the scrutiny of several, several foreign, foreign scientists, scientists whose reputations were on the line, but without the proper information, research, or time. 
The little that they provided to us was faulty. It was these scientists that we relied on, and they were wrong, Simon. I know they have a reputation, shareholders, and a bank account to protect, which seems to be their primary goal. But what's it going to matter when everything is gone? We want to save this planet that we call home. There are still signs that people were here once. Most of them died of the toxins. The rest were obliterated in the wars, the riots, the uprisings. You never believe something that big can happen until it does. Even then, it takes a while. We all knew it was headed there. No one did anything about it. The companies were in charge. They were the new government. They decided our fate, yet took no responsibility. I still wear my mask. The ones they told us to wear to protect ourselves. I think it's safe now though, but I've gotten used to it. It's like a safety net or a child stuffed animal. A security blanket. since Omnitech Corporation's solar shield was put into place. Now, some $450 trillion later, the project has suffered a major setback. Here today to help us understand the crisis in more detail is 20-year representative oh. and CEO.
that my uncle? <laughs> That's messed up, man. I got another one for you. Mayonnaise. The white man's ketchup. How do you come up with this shit, man? Do you come up with it on your own or you got a committee or something? Genius like that come out of my head, man. Right, right. Ah, fuck you. I don't see any ideas coming out of your head. How can you tell when there's a riot in Detroit? I don't know how. Exactly. Soon they'll be telling that joke about every city. Well, we're gonna fix that, right? Remember when walking to the grocery store didn't take body armor? Yeah. That was when you could still walk outside during the day without having to wear SPF 5000 sunblock. Hey, do you wear your environmental breathing apparatus 24-7 like they tell you? The gas mask? No, do you? <laughs> What's the point? Besides, how can you smoke with that damn thing on? Right. Kind of gets in the way of living. Are we there yet? You got something better to do? Sometimes I dream I'm back home, safe in my own bed. Good things to come. Just another day. I step out on the balcony. Smells of freshly cut grass, old oaks, and last night's rainfall. The pollen, sticky from the morning dew. No surprises. The dream only lasts a short while. Long enough for me to remember who I was. We have spent a long time, years, building up what we have today. It's amazing. It could all be gone just like that, isn't it? It would be a shame to lose everything that we have worked for just because of a little incident like this. Is it? Thank you, Kennedy. Here we bloodied our fingers trying to fix the world. This is the thanks we get. We need a different angle. How long do you think you can keep this up? I say, here, Mr. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I say tell them what happened, and, and then tell them what the fix is. Well, if we had a fix, I would. Simon? What? Simon, you have been our face for nine years now, and I can't thank you enough. People trust you. They need you. In fact, I don't think we could do this without you. You are a natural born leader. And now they need you more than ever. People need you to tell them that they'll be safe. Your job is to be the guide. Now you're dictating what my job is? Something change? I've been doing what you asked without question. But I came out to the world last week and I told them that Omnicore had a solution. And you came out today and gave them excuses. Why would they trust me now? You didn't lie. We live in a world of manipulation-based relationships. Where what you say is true simply because you said it. What it comes down to is this. People don't care about the truth. They just want you to tell them something, anything, so that they can remain happy in their bliss knowing that someone out there is defending their way of life. We just have to convince them that our way is better for them. Wow. 
Oh, you're certainly right about manipulating relationships. You have no faith in people, do you? Only the tough will survive, Simon. And that's what separates us from them. Because in this case, the smartest are the toughest. And if this doesn't go our way, we have taken precautions. We'll be fine, Simon. You'll be happy to know that I got you on the list. And one day, the world will thank us for this.
My eyes closed, snoring like a bear. Chastity must be deaf. She is now. How the fuck does a woman like Chastity end up with a guy like you? Sounds like a stripper name. How do you think we met? What's the half-life on this payload? 40 years? More like 50, give or take. Plenty of time to pay your penance. Pregnancy can sometimes come at the wrong time of your life. If you're pregnant, young or old, then the Pandora pill just might be for you. It helped me in my time of need. Pandora. The discreet pregnancy termination method. It's your choice. Off. Well? Lilith? Is everything okay? Ready to be a father? about the bunkers they're building? Yeah, and the major metroplexes. I heard that. And that's all there'll be for us. Rumors. You really think they're gonna make room for
for a couple of average pilots like us. Average? Please, homie. With the tip of the spear, the two brave souls who initiated the first strike. Shit, I expect a parade. Going down in history books. With the forgotten heroes, bro. And even if there were bunkers, they're wasting their money again. Useless. What we got under our asses will bring an end to this shit. That's some positive thinking. Worked for World War II. That was a hundred years ago. Things don't change that much. Hell yeah, they do. Other people have them now. Other people have them now. Back then it was just us. I don't care how it ends or if it ends. As long as there's a war, I got a job. At the end of the day, I'm just glad to see Chaz. We drop enough bombs and there ain't gonna be a Chaz or you or a me. You feel me? You're bringing me down, man. Let's just focus on a job, shall we? Yeah. It's just a job, right? It's just a job. Everything looks normal. We got your blood test back today, and everything looks great, except your iron levels are a little low. Other than that, you are alive. You have a pulse. You're ready to have a baby. I'm having a baby. <laughs> I love saying that. Say it as often as you like, but you still have a lot of discomfort to experience. Not to mention the, the swollen feet, the back aches, the strange cravings. I'm nervous. It's natural to be. But I'll be here with you every step of the way, okay? Everything is gonna be just fine. Okay. <laughs> Only if they're real. What? I missed that. No, I I think everyone needs to experience it. So, what are you gonna name it? Jenna, right after me. It's a great name. Well, Simon and I want to name it Jake if it's a boy and Amelia if it's a girl. You startled me. What, a Lilith banish you to the upstairs? Something like that. So it brings you into the Linus then? Funny you should ask. I need a favor. <laughs> That's my cue to exit. Wait! All right, you have 30 seconds. Do you know anything about the list for the Habitat for Life program? You lost me at I need. Simon, you know that's classified information. It's important. It's about Willith. You're poking your nose around where you shouldn't, Simon. But, since it's for Lilith. I just, I need a copy. I need it at the end of the week. Why not now? End of the week. Don't ask. Please. You know, that's no easy task. You owe me. Ooh, I dated a guy named Jake, so I hope it's a girl. It's their baby, they can name it what they want. Yeah, but that's so plain. And it could be my nephew. I don't want to go around calling him Jake. I think they should name it Jake now, just
come to congratulate you, Simon. I heard the good news. You gonna let me in? This house was built way before your time. I remember when they moved it. You knew that it was moved, didn't you? I don't know the whole story, but yeah, I did. Yeah. There's a river view outside that window, and the meadow was on that side, and that side was facing the mountains. Oh, it was a gorgeous view. company bought the land. You didn't know that? Yeah, well, you had to keep the house safe, you know? Sometimes a sacrifice is needed in order to preserve something else. In this case, this lovely house keeps you warm at night. Why are you here, Vincent? Or did you make progress on my request? The list was designed for the survival of a specific genetic series. Oh, cut the bullshit. Did you do it or not? We had to be selective. The decision wasn't just mine alone to make. God damn it. You told me you'd take care of the both of us. Well, the situation changed. You have a baby on the way. Why does that matter? It was viewed as more of a burden. I knew I couldn't trust you. The habitat was designed to sustain one person Two would put a strain on the resources. I can't imagine how long you would last with a third. Try and understand. Think about it. There are other things to consider. What if the baby were born crippled, mentally ill, or disadvantaged in some way? How would that play out? And why would you want to bring a new life into such a harsh world? I think you need to rethink some things. But what if it's the next Einstein? Did you think of that? You don't even know who this child is. So you expect me to leave Lilith here to die? Look, if the baby wasn't an issue, I could possibly get her in. But unless there's an opening, and someone dies prior to the deadline, there's really nothing I can do. Oh. Well, who do I have to kill? Vincent, hello. So good to see you. You too, my dear. I heard the good news. Congratulations. Thank you. May I get you some more wine? Oh, sure. I promise you, if there is any way she's next in line, Actually, better be going. I didn't realize the time. Tell Lilith I'm sorry I couldn't stay. So what did the company ever do with its precious land? Nothing. I built my house there. So my cousin and I got the edge of levee and I still couldn't believe it. I mean, the Mississippi's no joke when it's calm, but in overflow, it was unbelievable. 40 acres, under 15 feet of water. That's some crazy shit, bro. Crazy, stupid shit. So there I am, sitting there like a dumbass. My cousin pipes up, hey, what's that by your foot? So I look down. Lock eyes with a full-grown cottonmouth. I'd have shit my pants. No shit. So there I was, staring at the most venomous steak in North America. Well, what'd you do, bro? Well, I jumped out of my pants and ran all the way back to high ground. When we got there, I looked back, and the levee burst. Flash flood wiped out everything I'd been standing on. 
right behind us. Must have followed us right up to the edge. First time I ever heard of a snake doing someone a favor. Well, if that thing hadn't come along, I wouldn't be here right now. That's some kind of blessing in disguise, man. Some god intervention shit. We used to come here on our anniversary. I remember the smells, the tastes, the wine. Check, please. Being waited on. I remember the food. Ah, the food. Sometimes I think I see people. I'd probably be afraid if I found someone. If people are still around, they're not here. But they have to be somewhere. Try again. Check again. I don't know. Just do it. Yes. Fuck!
I thought we were going out. Well, we will. I just thought we could have a drink without a waiter in our face. You know? I don't... I probably shouldn't. Well, uh, it's early on, right? Just one's not gonna hurt. Mm. You're probably right. <sighs> okay. Here's to a healthy... Uh, Here's to health. Are you okay? Yeah. I guess I'm just happy. That's all. You mean too? You ever hear from Jonesy? He didn't hear. He punched his own ticket, put on his dress uniform, and then put his dad's coat in his mouth. Jesus, how'd you find that out? Ran in the Macquarie last night at the range. You know they used to pal around together? Macquarie. Haven't seen him since the academy. He still flying the transports? No, they grounded him after the equilibrium finally gave out. Too many high altitude missions. Anyway, he looked like shit. Put him in charge of an urban pacification unit or something. Set the clearance. Well, he was a vet to seen his first rodeo. It's not like in the beginning. Back when these idiots clumped together in large groups and traveled during the day or shouted at you from the front lawn. Back then, we just strafed them and call it good. Now, <laughs> McCoy said they're doing all kinds of crazy shit. He said Atlanta, the locals literally joined hands 1,400 deep and marched arm in arm straight into a wall of automatic fire. Not just a man either, like old folks, women, and kids and shit. I guess they figured if they turn the other cheek, it'd inspire some mercy. So much for that. Anyway, he was pretty bummed about it. Said he was going to see the face shrink. Every day I have to keep focused, same routine, search for more supplies. I wake up and eat something from a can or a box or whatever there is. You'd be surprised how much is left, now that no one's fighting over it. And everything's mine, I think.
this web called Progress. And in this web, we catch a bunch of things. Cell phones, windshield wipers, intermittent windshield wipers, cappuccino machines, touch pads. And then we catch something that's too big for us to handle in it. Pulls our web apart. Oh, is that what you think is going on right now? We got something too big in our web and it's falling apart? Friedrich, Charlotte, Nietzsche? Think about it. Omnitech puts up this solar shield to stop global warming. Not only does it not stop global warming, it actually accelerates the process. That wasn't nature bringing us down, man. That was us, reaching for something we couldn't hang on to. There you go, holding on to rumors again, making up shit. Think we ain't gonna come back from this? We survived the Crusades, the Black Plague, the Holocaust, the Cold War, the death of David Letterman. It's a cycle, man, that's all it is. Shit, we'll be back to Monday Night Football and Xanax in no time. You know what humanity reminds me of? What's that, bro? A joke without a punchline.
found this out at that restaurant on 10th Street. You know, the one we used to go to. Yeah, I'm a little tipsy. So what? I'm not very hungry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> I forget. I kind of forgot what I was gonna say. I know. I'm getting. I need to lighten up. I need to lighten up and not be so serious. I'm the funny one. I'm. I'm like the fun. <laughs> Me? I couldn't understand what you said. That was so silly of me. <laughs> I know! You always say that. You always say that. Did you forget what you were gonna say too? That's all that's all I have time to do. <laughs> that's all I have time to do, honey. You talk too much. You need to speak up. You need to speak up, dear. I can't hear you. I can't. I have fun and I, and I laugh even when things are really, really bad. I can't do it anymore. There, it's gonna be a big announcement, okay? You fucking Vincent. I can't believe I trusted you. Excuse us for a second. Keep your voice down, Simon. Fuck you. You knew you couldn't do anything about that list. You knew it. I tried to tell you there was nothing I could do. You used me. I did everything I could. Really? Everything? You had a grandson. A burden I couldn't bear to leave behind, knowing that he would suffer along with his mother. All my life I've never asked you for anything. And the time comes to ask for one thing, one fucking thing that actually matters. And you can't do it, can you? You're lucky you're still on the list. I should have had you taken off so you could be left behind with your endearing wife and your guilty conscience. Now get the hell out of here. This is on you, Vincent, and you'll never forget it. The habitat can sustain only one person. One person, Simon. You decide who that person is.
So this is it. What else is there? You're not even gonna try. Does it really matter? It's all for nothing. You work your whole life building, saving, gathering shit. For what? It all comes to this. Everyone dies. No one wins. And the arrival is always a letdown, isn't it? Something my dad always said. I remember one time my parents took me and my sisters to the Enchanted Woods. You remember that theme park? You're all so damn excited. When we got there, I realized I enjoyed the time we spent together getting there more than the actual place. What's the point? Simon, if you spent your life doing all those things, of course you'll be let down. I enjoyed my time with you. That's what I've gathered and saved up. And there's nothing that can take that away from me now. Once it happens, there will be nothing left. Get it through your head. No you, no me, no us. Do you understand that? Everyone you know, family, friends, loved ones, all of them, gone. Does that sound like a good journey? You turned your back on the one person who wasn't planning to let you die alone. How does that feel? I have to forgive you. And I love you. I made my choice to do so a long time ago.
watching the BNR. It's a planet hour attack. One minute. I'm counting. No answers. Hold on your hats, ride's gonna get a little rough. In crowds. In groups. Couples sharing each other's day. Children. Their laughter. Their cries. It's easy to remember everything you took for granted. The plenty we had. It's easier to forget how much you needed each other. The end is inevitable. It didn't have to end like this. I only wish there was something to be celebrated.